Hello, this is Patrick with New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel here in Jersey City with David and Sophie with Soda Deco, and they're gonna give us a tour of their awesome creation on a Sprinter chassis. So join us. Hi, I'm David. And I'm Sophie, originally from the south of France, now Jersey girl for 28 years. David is... I'm originally from California and I've been in Jersey City for 10 years now. And we are literally looking at downtown New York City right now. Look at that beautiful view. And why did we buy this size of van? We actually bought this size because we wanted to be able to park it in New York City. Yeah, 144 inch is probably the most versatile van that we can use. We are obviously in urban areas where I came from in California, just outside of San Francisco. The same situation, you can park this in any space that you can park any normal vehicle. In. Yeah, I'm a city girl, so I wanted something to travel with. I'm a wardrobe stylist actually, so I wanted something that we could travel with and that is very clean looking and simple but efficient that can carry all my wardrobe too yeah i mean well that's i mean it's kind of exactly why these these specific shelves were designed for we call it titanica so it's like my patagonia bags i put them right here so this is perfect and they don't take you know much space they just stay right here i can just open them up have access to my wardrobe nice and clean i have i can put two right here or sometimes we put some pillows and we use this as like a little bench a little chill to out have our area. little yeah to yeah. like and, chill out and importantly too is these also happen to be the same dimensions as our inflatable paddle boards uh, we come from a creative field you know as a wardrobe stylist and I'm originally in you know commercial photography we have 25 years of kind of visual experience yeah, we actually merge that our experiences to go into interior design as well, to do like home renovations. Which is where Soda Deco started yeah, from. Yeah, that's how we started our company. And then we were like, you know, during pandemics, we were love traveling and we travel a lot also for work, you know, from the East Coast to the West Coast to like so many different cities. We're like, well, why not making a van? A, a purchase like this is going to last you, you know, 10 or 20 years. And this is specifically why we designed our bed to be on linear actuators, is what we found is that our use of the van would change over time. Sometimes it's fully work and sometimes it's work travel and sometimes it's- Cooking and pleasure. Sometimes it's totally just pleasure. And one of the things I found is that I actually had been on a motorcycle trip with another friend where we could put two motorcycles on, in this van and sleep two guys comfortably. Right here. The motorcycle is this thing. I would have my bags and my paddle and my wardrobe and my cooking, making crafts and you know. And you could still stand up inside. Up my coffee, yeah. yeah. I can stand up so I am five, seven and a half and come stand here. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm... How tall are you? So... Uh, well, should, I'm, I can just kind of squeeze in. I'm yeah. five, I'm five ten, right. ten and a half. But, you know, compared to the lower roof where, you know, you're always doing this kind of situation, this is not a big deal at all. One of the things that we love about this is, is just, you'll see with a lot of other vans that have built-in beds, this area becomes claustrophobic really quickly. Yeah, this is also why we wanted to keep the shower actually in the door because, you know, I'm actually for being, you know, I'm very practical for a wardrobe stylist and I was like, you know, I don't want a waste of space to have a princess shower. So I'm just going to have a shower in the door. We have great hot water and you can just open the door, you know, maybe not even in the city because you, you will probably get arrested. <laughs> you know, I'm French, who cares? It's like, you know, and then you just in the wilderness, taking your shower, looking outside, it's perfect. It saves space and look at all the space we have inside. When it came to the upholstery, I didn't want to have any metal showing. Um, every time you are either in the bed or you know, you're, touching, you're touching anything that's metal, it's cold. So a lot of time and energy went into the molding and the pressing of this upholstery. Yeah, that's a and it long is, and, time. and it is coated three times with a, uh, with a uh, water repellent. Both the driver and passenger seats are on swivels. I wanted to make sure that we got a van that had 360 degree parking. It has a 10 and a quarter inch touchscreen monitor, which is the largest that, that comes with the, with the Mercedes and active distronic you know if you're spending 
you know, thousands of miles on the highway, it's a wonderful safety feature to be able to have the van track the vehicle in front of you. So if it slows down, the van slows down. That was really important. I love this swivel seat. It's so comfortable and I just love it because you can be in the morning or like whatever, you know, and you're just looking at the view outside. This is the S-Bar diesel heater. What it does is it sips, it sips small amounts of diesel from the main diesel tank. It takes very little amounts of electricity. And I'll tell you in cold weather, it's um, it's a must-have, and it's so cozy in here. It's so cozy. And it's a, this is a new updated model. It has a very quiet pump, which used to the old ones used to click. So we're very happy yeah. with this model. Yeah, this one's great. Uh, the we went with coin flooring because, as I said before, in our dual use, I want the ability to not have to worry about the integrity of the Practical, floor. Practical, clean, and modern looking. Yeah, and we easy we to clean. I love clean. And we took a we. Took took a trip down to Florida and I, you know, Florida is just filled with sand, you know, being able to yeah. sweep sand in and out of this flooring is, is yeah. great. Or if there's water, you know, it's just, it's just very practical. And actually what's right above your, your head, you know, I wanted to talk some more about this upholstery. This is what the B pillar for Mercedes. And I, I, you can write poems about this part of the van. There is nothing, yes, there is nothing straight tricky. up and down about this. That making this piece, I swear that we can go into business just making <laughs> these pieces. Uh, the uh, we went with L Track, and we did look around at what other builders were doing. The L Track was partially design oriented because it does fit in our lighting, but also uh, on L Track on the floor and also on the sides, it does have significant amount of mounting ability. You know, we'll be able to put our motorcycle into the van and strap it down with the L Track. These are more decorative, just to hold the LEDs. I actually like in a design point of view for a woman, I really like that kind of like the mechanical side and the wood and the warm. So it's like, you know, and this beautiful wood. So we did mix the wood. So we have some mechanical and then the wood really add a lot of like warmth. And do you want to talk about this? Well, content? actually I was, it was funny because when I brought wood samples for you to look at, you know, I thought, oh, for sure, you're going to want to go with the walnut top. And you were just like, no, it's gone. And that yeah. was the moment where we decided that in order to keep this so open and airy and spacious that we were going to stick with uh, Baltic, with Baltic wood that's going to keep the, you know, keep it bright in here. The, um, the sink itself, it's both hot, cold water, and we do have uh, filtration for drinking water. This does come out and you can swivel it around. It comes out to about 10 feet. And if you want to take a warm shower using your electric heater, which is right here, um, the electric water heater itself, you can pull off the battery. I do recommend that you're using it with shore power, or you can do it at the beginning of the day, heat it up, travel, and you have full battery power. The heater itself is connected to an on off switch so that we don't have to always continue to use our battery. The Baltic birch was a major decision in, um, in the design. In fact, there's many places where we decided to double it up because of because of visual just reasons. for the look it just looks really pretty just adds you know some graphic different textures i just love that and the the microwave itself it's you know probably one of the you know the yeah. not prettiest parts of 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 any conversion so i went with a flat panel that we were very happy with i guess you have to have a microwave i don't really like microwave but <laughs> everybody does so you gotta heat your, you gotta heat your burritos it's just really weird well, i think it like spoils the food how else are I you like gonna natural cooking like you know the microwave is weird it's how else space. how else are you gonna reheat your burrito you want to put that in a pan all right fair enough <laughs> so the 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 drainage system itself is a five gallon tank when you have a five gallon tank mixed with a 25 gallon uh, water tank, you really get in touch with how much water that you use because 25 gallons may seem like a lot, but it goes pretty quickly. But if you're French, you take a shower every other two days. So, I mean, it's a waste otherwise. And you just put some perfume and you save water. Even down to the, <laughs> even down to the slam locks, you know, was a, was a design decision. Oh yes, uh, that was important. When I presented you with different locks options and even including these very expensive stainless steel ones, we put it up with the, 
Baltic birch and you said mm. yeah the stainless they were just beautiful and they are more expensive looking but the black from it, a design point of view just it's just clean and just, it just worked just better. helped it pop yeah and then you know in order to uh, we have a right here we have a water level gauge the water level gauge itself has an LED on it and I just thought it would be fun to save if we wanted to keep the water pump on but save a couple of watts uh, we can turn off the water gauge in LED while still keeping the pump on. <clears throat> so this, these, as we talked about before, not only can you really quickly put whatever it is, whether or not it's your skis or it's your paddleboard or if it's uh, the giant Titanica of, uh, <laughs> of the Patagonia suitcase. Or some small pillows. You can do so many things with this. These, lots of storage. These drawers themselves are uh, are wide. Um, and again, you know, we have dado. We have dado edges. Um, each one of, you know, each one of these cuts was used with fine blades um, just to try to keep this as as clean and beautiful as yeah. possible. These are, these are really... I think we have stuff on, on the... Yeah, we have stuff oh, in on yeah, this side. In this one, but, but one of the things about this, this shelf is that I can literally pull... This thing is connected to the walls and also down it's through solid. the floor. It's solid. <laughs> these yeah. these yeah. L-Tracks are the ones and these are screwed into the sidewalls. So these are going to be what we're going to use in order to run straps underneath the 8020 through the other side to the other 8020 and strap it on oh, here. Like motorcycle. You can put a Harley Davidson in here. A what? Or a Harley Davidson yeah, yeah. motorcycle. What, what what motorcycle do I have? You have, oh, let me see, I don't remember the Come latest on. one. Like, um, it's not a K2, it's like- It's a, close, it's a KTM. The KTM, yeah. there you go. <laughs> All right, so should we talk about the kitchen and the counter space area? Cause we love cooking, I love to cook. Um, so we have like this counter space, this counter space, and this is all like my little cooking area. Usually I like to open this door too, um, because then you know you can have like, you're just cooking and it just feels like an open space. And we have this beautiful counter, do you want to describe? Sure. Well, I guess we could start taking you through the whole galley area. Um, we chose the isotherm refrigerator. It's a 2.5 cubic I love it. It's just foot. beautiful looking. If I can open it, yes. This is where I put my champagne, right here. <laughs> Usually a lot of it. <laughs> and this little... And you can have ice as well. And this this isotherm refrigerator, we went with the AC and DC version so that you can... This can run off of shore power when you plug it in uh, to the 15 amp plug. And You'll notice there's some wasted space under here, which we will come to on the other side when we open up the door. It's a surprise. Up above the refrigerator, it was really important that we had a switch panel that was very basic and it had a good feeling to it. There's only four switches on the for the main panel. The two are for the bed. This is for the LEDs on the roof. And this one is to turn on and off our water pump. Lots of drawer space. This is a deep drawer. It's filled with towels right now. The, I imagine we can put some uh, trash if we wanted to in there. Some Yeah, or, you can put all your spices here. More like the cooking. I mean, you know. It depends. It you depends know, on the person, whatever. And then what do we have here, Chevy? Oh yeah, so this is a Le Toilette. Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> and this is great for emergencies. Uh, well, she is for this. emergencies, but I, I'll use these things all day and all night. Uh, I drink a lot of water, yeah. So <laughs> it's really great. And to have. one of the things, you know, you, once you get used to emptying your own toilet, it's not really that big of a deal. You really just empty it into any normal toilet. And these the are, way it's built, you can do it from this side, or when the door is open, it's really will show you well, on the you, other side. Well, you do it. Like you do the business in here, but you take Correct. it off. Yes. yes. And, and then the uh, the sliders itself are, I think, 500 pound sliders. So there's never going to be any consideration on whether or not it's too much weight. You can go for it and do your business, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have basically three kitchen drawers. And this drawer is important. I call it the step drawer. And what it does is we flip it up. Stack it and and step on it, and when the bed. Well, you is, could use this one too. Yeah, it's very, <laughs> it's very strong. 
Basically, that's how you're getting in and out of bed. Now you want to bring it down. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, the bed. So now that you know how to get into bed, let's show you how to get the bed up and down. The bed itself are, is on four linear actuators. The linear actuators are designed by, well, they were designed by me, but made by Progressive Automations. They're very smooth and very quiet and very quick. Now, one of the things that's nice about this is with the two switches is if you are on uneven surface, you can change the height of the bed according to your uneven surface. So you, you can, exactly, so you can stay flat. And we still have ample space underneath here. We did sacrifice some headroom so that we can have as much of an open galley area as possible. The bed itself is a full-sized customized bed. And this is the four inch memory foam mattress. This is the tool to get the awning out. And on the top of that, this is organic. This is made from bamboo and very important, it's super comfortable. So good for like a beauty sleep, nap, rest, you know, and I love my sleep. So this is even more comfortable than our own bed at home, I think. Sometimes. It's so good. Yeah. So to <laughs> come back over to the galley area, we have a dual burner induction stove. We have two fans in the van. We have one above the galley area and it allows for cross ventilation. If we Great want, when you're cooking a good steak. That's a good steak. steak. Fit, and if you just want, want a little more ventilation, you can open up the, the window and yell at your significant other. And let's talk a little bit about the top galley area, the top cabinets. Uh, a lot of design went into these. It's a trapezoid. It was the design of it itself was, uh, it took quite a bit of time. And they stay, they will lock and stay open. Love these. Yes, it's great, great hardware, lots of space. Uh, the 8020 um, made the design aspect, but it, it made it functional and also it became part of the design aspect of the uh, top, top galley, all cabinets. So uh, it, when it comes to the paneling, you know, the paneling was became much more of a project than we imagined it to be because it was very important to me that it did not look like it was somebody that had just rolled paint on, yeah, you know, on like it was hand painted. Well, so we used very paint. special brushes and a special paint for cabinets. And there must be five or 10 coats on each one of these. It has a nice hard plasticky feel to it and it's easily washable. So now that we're just going to give you a run down on the systems. A run down <laughs> of the system. So before we get there, I just want to show you we have four more drawers. Storage is incredibly important in any Sprinter conversion. We have a 550 amp Gold Zero battery system. Uh, each one of these hinges is a, a marine hinge. Uh, took a lot of time and energy doing research on what kind of hinges because they're not only functional but a part of our design. Now when it came to the Gold Zero battery, one of the uses that we potentially could see out of this van is being able to rent it out to other people. It's all inclusive, it's all in there, it comes with a three-year factory warranty, it's very simple and still has a ton of capacity. The solar power for this van is uh, 300 watts. Uh, we have actually a solar overload switch here. We, we can talk about it a little bit more later. Um, I have, there's tons of extra space underneath here. This is where you'll also find your fuses. We have a hideaway 120 volt, 120 volt and also a five amp uh, phone charger as well. You can plug in your vacuum, your hairdryer. Exactly. Now, there is a lot of space in here. And the, with battery technology changing so rapidly, we imagine you're going to have this van for longer than you'll have any single battery system. So there's tons of space if at any point, any modifications need to be made to it. The battery is charged with a 500 watt charger that is run off of our Renogy 700 watt inverter. And there's an inverter switch to turn it on and off here. The inverter will automatically turn off when the starter battery gets down to 12.6 volts. So now that we did the inside, David is gonna show you around the outside. Well, let me quick you. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> so 
These, we pulled the inspiration of the hubcaps off of, I think, uh, commercial vehicles in Europe. We have LEDs. I diffused the front of the LEDs so that it would spread the light a little bit more. We have a Fiamma awning that runs them pretty much the length of the van. Wait, did you talk about the cap? Because we love a pop of color. That's yep. a design thing. Yep. We have an 80-20 ladder to access the roof. Now, I love having a factory step bumper. It was really important to me. We use this all of the time. There's a hitch as well as a hitch connect too. Ta-da! Bonjour, la shower! Here we have the outdoor shower. It's a tankless propane powered. Uh, all of the components are inside of this locker. You have the connects for the shower. This is the connect to the shower. You turn it on and off with here, but if you forget to turn it off, it will not allow water to come out. We have a freshwater tank fill right here. You can use any hose that you like to fill that up. On this side, this was a really fun component. I had to try oh, to- That's our favorite detail here. Yeah, we had to try to figure out how to ventilate the battery in a way that was still like design oriented, very soda deco of us. And we had a lot of fun making this panel. We were like, oh, we could make lamps next. I know. Imagine if like the lights was coming out, that would be super cool. You're giving people ideas. Maybe. Okay, that's next. Yeah, we need to monetize <laughs> that. If you look up, you'll see two more diffused LED lights. And let me take you around the other side. Very unique to this van, two sliding doors. Hello. Oh, hey, look. My, my beautiful wife. <laughs> One of the things that was, when it comes to two sliding doors, not only do you have this really wide open area, but it also gives you easy access to be able to the empty your toilet. toilet. And also, this was a lot of fun. We have a second stove out here. Check out the color. It's the same, it's the same yellow, or the, the pop of color that we love. Yep, and you can fry your steaks or anything that creates a, a lot of smoke, or you just want to be outside, you know, just, looking at New York City. Yeah, and another fun option for cooking. We just love to cook. We don't really, though. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> well, Davi and Sophie, thank you very much for taking the time to give us a tour today of your beautiful creation here in Jer uh, Jersey City. I love the city. We're in uh, Liberty State Park, Statue of Liberty, Ellis Island's right over there. You guys got a great location. Can you tell us a little bit about some of the challenges with working so with so many materials in a van? At Soda Deco, quality and detail is probably one of the most important aspects of the build of this van. So much time was spent just sitting in and looking at basically what is not essentially a square box, but kind of an extruded circle. The design of it. Exactly. Yes, all the details. Yeah. So we really also want to thank you, Patrick, for coming out and finding us on our Instagram, which is soda underscore deco. Um, check it out. And, and Patrick is with New Jersey Outdoors Adventures and our website. This van is for sale. We're going to make more. Yep. We have another one actually coming any day. What's the name of it? Uh, the next one is Physique. Yeah, and so you can see information about that on sodadeco.us. Thanks for sharing that. I'd love to have you guys on the channel again when you're done with your next build. And I wish you much luck selling this van. It's absolutely beautiful. When I seen it online, I fell in love because it's a different approach. Not everybody wants the same van with the same floor plan. The flexibility and the comfort that you left in this build is unbelievable. And I think you got a great business uh, here in Jersey City. Oh, you're going to make her cry. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make sure I link to your special. website and Instagram. This is Patrick of New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like this yes. video, comment, share, and subscribe. I love it. Love you guys. Yeah, we'll see you, you soon. Guys. Love Thank you, Patrick. You. <laughs>